Lance Hormby for Post Media here at the Air Canada Centre after a very touching celebration of life. Their uh, Johnny Bauer who passed away last week at uh, age 93. Uh, 2,000 people estimated came to the uh, arena today for the service. Uh, former teammates Dave Keon, Frank Mahalovic, Ron Ellis spoke, League President Brendan Shanahan. His grandson Johnny Bauer III also gave uh, made people laugh with some great stories about uh, his grandfather falling off ladders and having a uh, you know having a great time at life. So one day he got up on it and he fell, breaking his fall and his ribs by landing on our outdoor wooden shower. He was 75 at the time. What did he do? He got up, brushed himself off, and he laughed. When he fell off the ladder in his 80s trying to remove a wasp nest at the house, landing in the hedges and cutting himself up while grandma was away visiting her sister in Saskatoon, he couldn't stop laughing when he was telling me about that story a few hours later. One might say he had more lives than a cat, and those lives extended to others. See, there was a time that he asked me to help him hook up his uh, new ceiling fan in his bedroom. And he turned the power on as I was connecting the wires. <laughs> which was, in essence, uh, Johnny Bauer's uh, contribution to Toronto. He had two families. He had an extended one that uh, people have seen in the last couple of uh, days, uh, about 30 uh, children, grandchildren, great-grandchildren, and his extended family, the Maple Leafs and Leaf Nation. And a lot of them came out here today. A lot of remember, obviously, the, uh, the four Stanley Cups. Uh, and through all those years, with Harold Ballard and all the other uh, difficulties this team has had, Johnny Bauer was able to bridge that gap, give the people hope, and sometimes give them a laugh. I started in 70, and he retired in 69, but he put the pads on at practice. Sometimes the regular goalie couldn't practice or whatever, so Johnny, and you learn like quite quickly as a young guy how competitive he was. He didn't want a puck in the back of his net. Like, you know, in practice there's lots of pucks in there. He'd clean them all out. And the guys would kind of tease him a little bit when he's looking the other way. They'd shoot one by him here, and he'd, look and he'd take the puck out of there. But very competitive guy, you know. And, uh, and then talking to guys like Keon and, and Bobby Bond and George Armstrong, the respect that they had from him, and he won four Stanley Cups, and he was one of the main reasons they did. Now the casket as it left uh, here, draped with the uh, Maple Leaf Blue, was uh, accompanied by two of the current goalies, Curtis McElhenney, Frederick Anderson, and uh, very touching, the 48 Highlanders, who've uh, been around since 1931, also uh, Pipe Johnny in, and uh, there will be a private fam family funeral in Oakville later today, or I'm sorry, later uh, this week. Uh, and last night, of course, many people had the chance to say goodbye to him, uh, and the current Leafs and Coach Mike Babcock were all here today. From Air Canada Centre, Lance Hornby for Post Media.